Yes. Hear, O heavens, and give ear. Hear, O heavens. And give ear, O earth. Give ear, O earth. For the Lord has spoken. Who talked? The Lord has spoken. Amen. It's hard to get people to hear God. That's right. Now, let me show you how God is heard. One of the ways that God is heard. That's Give right. me the book of Titus. Titus. See how God make manifest his word. That's right. Titus chapter 1. Come on, son. God make manifest his word through preaching. Titus chapter 1, we're at verse 4. Follow me. But hath in due time. Begin at verse 3. At verse 3. All right. All right, verse 2. Verse 1. Verse 1. Yeah. Titus chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Paul, a servant of God. Paul, a servant or minister of God. And an apostle. And an, an apostle or an ambassador. Of Jesus Christ. Of the Lord Jesus. According to the faith of God's elect. According to God's belief. And the, and the God's faith. God's faith. That takes me back to what I said earlier. Drop your belief. I don't respect the belief of men and women. That's right. I respect the belief of God. That's yeah. right. And when anybody, hear me good stiff necks, try to push their belief on me, I'm going to throw it back at you. That's right. And I'm going to cram you with God's belief. That's right. I'm going to cram you with it. <laughs> I mean, it's like taking a beehive and throw it over your head while the bees is in it. That's right. I'm going to cram God's belief. That's why folk hate me. I mean, they hate Pastor Jennings. Oh, yes. Can't stand me. And some preachers even went as far as getting some people uh, and do little few minutes podcasts and say they used to be members here of the church. Mm. How it was a cult. <laughs> that don't move me. No. Eh? That no. don't move me. I don't care if you write a letter to Gabriel. And if Gabriel came down from heaven right now, right now. at 131 Sunday afternoon, and if Gabriel's teaching contradict this Bible, That's Gabriel right. is going to hell. That's right. That's true. You can't say that. Give me the first chapter of the book of Galatia. And at verse 8. I'm going to show you why I said. Galatians chapter 1 and verse 8. That's what? But the we. Listen. But the we. The we. Or an or angel, an angel from, heaven from heaven. Preach any other gospel to you. Any other, hallelujah, hallelujah. Any other gospel. Any other, any other, any other. Any other gospel unto you. You know, my blood pressure was up earlier today. Felt lightheaded, but the word done cleared that stuff up now. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Any other gospel unto you. Then that which we have then preached unto you. Then what we have preached and what's the angel? Let him be accursed. Next day. Amen. That's right. Angels are not allowed to bring something different from the book. That's right. And if I don't respect and I won't respect angels' opinion, <laughs> that give you just an inkling what I feel about yours. That's right. As we said before. As I say, I want to rehearse the matter. As we said before. As I said before. So say I now again. What is it? If any man. What? If any man preach any other gospel unto you. White man, black man, brown man, yellow man, plaid man, gray man. Any man. Jewish man, African man, Italian man. Fat man, skinny man, half of a man. Any man. Long haired man, bald headed man. That's right. Anyway. I don't care. I don't care. African man, I don't care if you got on an African daishiki and got pomegranates dangling from your pants. That's right. Amen. Amen. It doesn't matter. If any man. When it says any man, that's not just narrowed it down to the male. No. That's covering every human, whether it's man or woman. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? If any man preach any other gospel unto you. Any man you, preach any other gospel unto then, you. Then that ye have received. Then what you already got. Let him be accursed. Now viewers. This is why we hold God's word in front of the world. That's right. I'm going to hold it right in your face hold too. It. Get mad. Cuss me out. Don't just put your middle finger up at me. Put your whole arm up. That's right. That's right. 
wife getting mad, your children getting mad, your husband getting mad, your mama getting mad. When I tell you I don't care, I mean it. That's right. The word of God has spoken. That's it. And when God talk, you going to listen. <laughs> Amen. There's up, there's down. And down. Heaven or hell. That's it. You judge. You're the, boss. You're the boss. You can be your own boss if you like. God help you forever. But everybody's going to have to come on back to what the word of God said. That's it. And this is one of the reasons why many of you say he ain't loving. He's arrogant. You know, that's folks log on all the time when the webcast is on. <laughs> and some of them log on just to distract you that are watching. Right. Some of them log on just to talk about crypt coins. Who cares anything about your kryptonite? That's right. I care nothing about your crypto coins. <laughs> then you got the same one that log on and say that Pastor Jennings is the most arrogant man I ever seen. And why you keep watching me? Amen. That's right. Huh? Amen. Call me arrogant all you want. That's right. You're going to bring your nose down to Bible or you're going to go to hell. Yes, you will. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. I don't care how tough you are from the hood. I'm from the hood. That's right. But I'm not tougher than God. That's right. I don't care what gang you came from. If you're presently in the bloods, the crypts. The gangs, the disciples, MS-13, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Not one gang member, whether Hallelujah. you're in red or blue, That's is right. more tougher than God. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. You hate this preaching because you can't find a man in the country Hallelujah. from the church that's standing up for God like this. Like, like this. That's right. What you got in your poor pets are sellouts. Amen. Hey Amen. You flood his pockets with millions of dollars and bought him yachts and mansions and fed him cotton candy and sugar babies and That's Mikey right. nights. Come on. That's right. And he's sitting back full of sugar. That's right. Scared to preach anything to tell you what's right. That's right. That's right. He's afraid that his income will change. Amen. I'm afraid of going to hell. That's right. I don't, I don't Hallelujah. fear you. I don't fear none of you. That's right. All right, listen to the old man. That's right. The Holy Ghost said. But though we are an angel from heaven. That's my stand. <laughs> that, that, that's your stand. I say that's my stand. That's right. That's your stand. stand. Hallelujah. That God Almighty gave me himself. That's right. And he gave it to me. <laughs> And I have it. You have it. That's my stand. That's right. And nobody have what it take to put a, anything up under my feet, just not even to lift my heel up. That's right. That's my stand. I'm sunk into the Bible. Mm. Nice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I said I'm sunk right in there. That's it. I mean, they, they, they have tried, they tried everything they can think of. That's right. Amen. Until That's different right. preachers come together. Ben, I had somebody wrote me a letter. I was reading in my office mm. saying a bishop was up in a pulpit bragging how they got together with some other bishops and elders mm. to have a meeting about me. <laughs> Seeing what can they come up with to shut the first churches of the Lord Jesus Christ down. My Lord. How can they stop the momentum? Of all these people coming in here because they don't have nobody. That's right. We baptize more people in one day than the whole years these false prophets been in the pulpit. That's right. What is the answer to the success of the truth of God? Amen. It ain't Pastor Jennings. No. It's God. That's right. Refrain from these men. God Hallelujah. is the reason for this season. That's right. God is. I didn't oh, yeah. do like you do. Jump up and make myself a preacher. No. Ran to some cheap Bible college and come out believing in three gods up in heaven. That's right. I didn't do that. That's right. God Almighty made me a preacher. Amen. Think of it. Think of I that. know you don't like it. That's why you watch it. That's right. But I can say this. That's right. Without flinching, thinking I'm going to receive the wrath of God. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Heaven made me a preacher. Hallelujah. Heaven did it. Heaven did it. And made me one way. That's why I won't move for nobody. That's right. Hey Amen. Don't care what I lose or who I lose. I won't move for nobody. That's right. I mean, won't move for wife. Won't move for children. Won't move for my mother. Didn't move for my father. No. Amen. Oh, no. 
I said that some time ago and someone wrote me. I bet you'll move if your wife leave you. The only thing I'll move is I pray. That's it. Were you running to get married again? No, I couldn't get married. No way. She'd be alive. That's right. Mm -mm. No, I wait for Jesus to come for the world. And if I'm still living, that's all I focus on preaching the gospel. That's it. They ask me again, would you run behind her? No, I don't believe in running behind no woman. Amen. I don't run behind booty. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. How much plainer can I make it? Amen. I don't chase booty. Go ahead, brother. If I got to chase my wife, then I'm going to have to keep chasing her to keep her. That's right. That's right. You men that chase women, the moment you start chasing that woman, you're going to have to keep chasing her. Keep it up. That keeper, you're going to have to keep it up. That's right. And once she see you chasing her, she's going to deliberately do things that make you run her down. That's right. That's right. All right, listen to the old man. Amen. You women that chase men, once that man find out you are chasing him, Chase. he's going to deliberately do things to keep you in running mode. That's right. I chase God. Amen. I will never chase a woman long as I'm black. No. And far as I know, God ain't changing my color. <laughs> and you right. sick women that chase men, you're going to chase them right to hell. Yes, you will. And you weak men that chase women, you're going to chase them right to hell. That's right. That's right. People ask me all kind of questions. If your wife leave, would you serve God then? I served God before I met her. Oh, yeah. Come on, Jay. I'm coming, Logan. Our women say, oh, I wouldn't take that if I was his wife. Why wouldn't you take the truth? Not only that, you ain't got that to worry about. That's right. That's I have right. no respect for no man Amen. that chase a woman. Oh, yes. Because she's going to lead you all across the country. Yes, <laughs> she will. It'll be and a, lead you right away from God. It'll be a marathon, Pastor. It'll be a marathon. That's right. And you will never be able to catch her. No, no. No, you won't. That's when you're right. sound and in God, That's you won't it. chase nobody. No. But Jesus. That's yeah, it. I got a good wife, but there ain't a woman on the planet good enough for me to chase. Not to chase. No. That's God it. didn't establish marriage for me to chase her. <laughs> no. 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 Way. No. Uh, no, not at all. God ain't never established marriage for no man to chase no woman. Right. No. So people, they write me these questions and think. All type of scenarios that will <laughs> make me take down, but no, oh, no, I'm just not cut out that way. That's right. Heaven didn't include that in my DNA. That's right. He made me a preacher. Behold, I have made thy face. Do you hear this? In the book of Ezekiel chapter 3 and at verse 8. Now, a carnal mind would say, that's mean. What's mean? What's mean? If I leave the Lord, my wife would be a fool to chase behind me. That's right. She better put God in front of me. That's right. I'm God calling God sent. But as a man, I ain't worth chasing. No. Ain't no man worth chasing. Oh, no. The only one worth chasing is God. That's yes! right. That's right. Oh, yes. That's right. You men that have this sense of pride. Yeah. Because you see women chasing you, you proud about it. Proud of what? Yeah. That's right. That's right. Come on. Are you listening to the old man? Oh, That's yeah. right. And because I have this firm Bible stand, he's mean. He ain't loving. <laughs> None of that stuff. None of that. Women have wrote me, cussed me out. All things you said, if I was your wife, I couldn't take it. Who cares? <laughs> truth is truth. Truth is truth. That's right. We teach men to chase after God. Chase God. That's right. Don't chase down no woman. You women chase down men. For uh, what? That's right. Hear the Bible. Psalms 119 and verse 32. Says what? I will run the way of thy commandments. I will run the way of thine pantyhose. I will run the way of thy commandments. I will run the way of thine skirt. I will run the way of thy commandments. Thine bra. Thy commandments. Thine blouse. Thy commandments. Thine figure. Thy commandments. I will run the way of thy commandments. What brought it about? I will run the what way of brought thy it commandments about? when thou shalt enlarge my heart. God enlarges your heart yes. for him. That's right. Yes. 
That's right. That's why many of you ain't used to this preaching because you never heard nothing like it before. No. I am sent to point you to God. That's it. Come on back to Bible. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When you got a mind to walk with God, don't be surprised what you lose or who. Or who. You just got to be prepared to lose it. That's right. That's the problem with many of you. You're going to church jumping and shouting, but scared to lose anything. Yeah. You got to be willing to lose anything and everything for his name's sake. That's right. If it come down to that, lose it. Lose it. Yeah. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. Wonderful. All right, let's go back to the foundation of everything in the book of Isaiah. Back Follow Isaiah, me and hear me. Back in Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 2. What is it? Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth. Hear, O heavens, and listen, give ear, O earth. For the Lord has spoken. God is talking. I have nourished and brought up children. I have nourished and brought up children. And they have oh, rebelled. Hold that. Did mm -hmm. we ever finish up Titus? No. How God speaks? No. I want to show you how God speaks. Go back to the first chapter of Titus, begin at verse 1 quickly. Paul, a servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ. Yes. According to the faith of God's elect and the acknowledging of the truth which is after godliness. When you're after godliness, you will acknowledge the truth. That's right. Anytime somebody wants me to take their opinion over the Bible, it's an insult to God, and it That's certainly right. is an insult to me. Oh, yeah. First thing I should look at first is what the word of God said. That's right. In fact, God's people should look at what God say first. First. Put that above everything. That's right. All right, son. In hope of eternal life. Which God that cannot lie promised before the world began. But hath in due times manifested his word through preaching. How do we hear God? Through preaching. How do we hear God? Through in preaching. Due time, in due time. But hath in due time. He hath manifest his speech. Through preaching. That's how God is getting his word over. That's right. Anyone take the word of God being preached lightly, use a fool, That's a fool. God knows. Amen. All right, back to Isaiah. Follow me in here, man. Back in Isaiah chapter 1 and at verse 2. What is it? Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth. O heavens, and give ear, O earth. For the Lord has spoken. God is talking. I have nourished and brought up children. I have nourished and brought up children. And they have rebelled against me. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I want you to hear this, you that are here. That's right. And you that are watching and listening around the world from pulpit down. That's right. God is declaring. I have nourished. How he's treated. That's right. He took care of you. That's true. He brought you up. That's made right. provisions for you. And you treat a dog better than yeah. you treat him. That's right. He put breath in your body. Amen. Hear me well. And you're more loyal to foolishness on television than you are watching the word of God so you can learn to escape hell. That's true. He gave you eyes to see and ears to hear and a mouth to talk. Amen. But you're only interested in seeing foolishness, hearing That's foolishness, hearing. and talking about that which is worth nothing. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? I have nourished. God Amen. is filing a complaint. I have nourished. And brought up children. I have raised you. And they have rebelled against me. You didn't appreciate it. That's right. You don't appreciate it. Oh, yes. You know, you know, the Bible says the Lord giveth. Yeah. And the Lord taketh away. Take away. He gave you life, viewers. And many of you have friends and family members that die with no God. You know why they died with no God? Listen, let me show you an act of appreciation towards God. Yeah. It's while you're living and you're making up in your mind to serve him and obey him. That's right. You're showing God that you appreciate life. That's right. By repenting of your sins and making a change from that silly, foolish, wild, barbaric lifestyle. That's right. Ready now to make a change. Amen. That's showing God your appreciation. That's right. For life. For life. And your respect, glory to God, towards his mercy. That's right. You remaining out there, fool, proving to God of your disrespect. Amen. That's true. How you don't reverence him. That's right. And how you don't honor him. That's right. You that cuss God and say, God so and so. Yeah. 
that shows your disrespect, disrespect and your lack of reverence to him. Therefore they say unto God, what? They say unto God, hear, me, hear this, Job chapter 21, we'll start at verse 13. How do they feel about God? They spend their days in wealth. They spend, all right, you, you wealthy folk. Wealthy folk. You no, know, these wealthy people feel as though they're too rich, they don't need God. That's, that's right. And you got people that are not wealthy and still have that sick arrogance. That, that's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Hey Amen. I was uh, watching a clip. What's that fellow who's the most wealthiest man in the world? Madoff is his name? No, no, no. Elon Musk. Elon Musk. He was in the interview. Yeah. Interview. Guy asked him, do you pray? He said, oh, no. I don't pray. Mm. Do you worship God? No. No, I don't worship God. My Lord. Do you read your Bible? No. For what? My Lord. You see, the wealthy fellows, though, they have no need for God. That's right. And many go to church that are wealthy just so their name can be mentioned. That's right. We got a star in the house. We got a star. Who cares? Amen. That's right. It ain't nobody can walk in these doors greater than Jesus. No. That's right. It ain't nobody can come inside your church higher or superior That's or right. better than Jesus. Amen. Come on, Jay. Celebrities come to our meetings many times all across the country. Yeah. Especially NBA players, NFL players. Uh -huh. I meet celebrities all through the airport. Mm -hmm. Them that don't have private jets, sometimes we're on the same plane. That's right. Many of them tell me how they watch the program. Some of them recognize me. Before I recognize them. That's right. I don't do like other people. One day I was at the, my hotel in Mobile, Alabama. Me and, uh, wow, what's that fella name? I, I got his face right in my mind. Danny Glover. We was on the same elevator. He just got finished working out, I guess, jogging. And he came on the elevator and, and the doors opened. And there were some other people came on. Mr. Glover. He looked at me and just said, <laughs> He ain't even want to be bothered. They wanted his autograph and all that stuff. And they got off the elevator. So then it was just him and I going down to the first floor. He said, young man, I noticed you didn't ask me about my autograph. I said, I don't need it. <laughs> you got a name, you can write it. I got a name, I can write it. I don't care nothing about that mess. Now, if you was Jesus. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Glory to God. If you was Jesus. That's right. And stepped on that elevator. Not only would I want your autograph. I'd be like Peter. My hand. And my hand. That's right. When are you celebrities going to realize you're not more popular than God? Amen. Your breast is in the hands of your Lord. That's right. That's right. Every celebrity, every politician that walked this planet. Your life is in the hands of God. Oh, yes. You're going to pay a price for your disrespect towards God. That's right. Every politician that voted on a bill to make law that contradict the word, the word. you got to pay a price for it. That's right. God's law is perfect. Oh, yes. God's law is infallible. That's right. And God's law is in the earth to govern creation. Amen. Whether you Democrat or Republican, who cares? That's right. Or liberal, you got to respect God's law. God's law. That's why I don't vote. That's right. Because the Democrats and the Republicans do not regard God's law. That's right. And I refuse to be a partaker of your evil decisions by voting for either party. That's one true. is a donkey, one is an elephant. I don't trust either one of you. Amen. You're both animals. Both animals. Made to be taken and destroyed. That's it. Go ahead. Man. Democrats is a, is a party of beasts. Oh, yes. Republicans are a party of beasts. That's right. And they have this deep hate towards God. Oh, yes. 
President Biden say he's a Christian. An endorser of homosexuality. That's right. That's what he says. Republican parties claim they're Christians. A parties of mixed breed of bigots. That's right. One is neither better than the other. That's right. What is the solution for them both? For them both. God. Amen. The solution for the world is obey God. Obey God. That's right. That's the solution. Glory to God for the world. That's right. What did the word of God say? Call chapter and verse again. Job chapter 21, we're at verse 13. They spend their days in wealth. And in a moment, go down to the grave. How do they feel? Therefore, they say unto God. They say to God. Depart from us. Amen. That's what they say. Come on, Jay. That's the arrogance. That's right. They tell God, do what? Depart from us. Get away from me. For we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. We don't want to know nothing that's in your mind. Th- that's right. That's right. We desire not the knowledge, the of, knowledge thy ways. of thine ways. We don't want no information that's to right. have anything to do with the Lord. That's right. That's right. That's why anything they have to do with God, mm. they get rid of it. Oh, yes. God made man. Yeah. God made woman. Mm-hmm. Devil step in and say, Devil step in. You don't have to be a man or woman. (laughs) That's right. Call them, call them they. They. Call them other. Yeah. Call them them. That's right. That's right. Parents are raising their children in the most stupidest way. Amen. I'm going to let my son decide. Here, when he was born, you don't wipe this behind. That's right. You done had him circumcised. That's right. You done cleaned his navel. You don't know what he is by now? You don't know what he is? Amen. Am I right? That's right. That's right. Call them they. They. Call them them. Yeah. Yeah. Or call them other. Other. That's true. Sick fathers, sick mothers. Sick. That's true. Sick. We're going to let the children decide what they want to be. That's what they say. You see how they oppose God? The scripture says what? Therefore they say unto God, depart they from us. They say to God. Depart from us. Get away from us. Leave us alone, Lord. For we desire not the we knowledge of thy ways. We don't want to know well, your ways. We don't want to know how you think. We don't want to know how you feel That's about right. nothing. About nothing. We don't care Hallelujah. what you say. That's right. They don't care. That's the way they was in the days of Noah. That's right. That's right. Noah preached along with Methuselah. Methuselah. That it was going to rain. Yeah. A message that was out of the ordinary, but yet extraordinary. That's right. God gave man. Hallelujah. Blessed be God 120 years. 120 years. Time for self-correction. That's right. That's right. Nice. That's right. But the people did not want to hear the message. No. And they did not want the knowledge of God ways. That's right. As a result, they drowned. They drowned. And out of all the people in the world, think of it now. Just eight. 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 Just eight. Just eight. Was saved by water. By water. That's right. All the people in the earth. Yes. Only a family. Only a family. Will save. That's right. What do that represent? That's right. Out of all the people in the earth, only the family of God. Only the family of God. It's gonna be saved. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Then they have repented of their sins. That's it. Baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. That's right. And continue steadfastly in the doctrine that God gave his apostles. Amen. God's sons and God daughters. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? They spend it, therefore they say unto God, depart from us. Chapter and verse again. Now in Job 21, and I'm at verse 14. Therefore, they say unto God, to God, depart from us. Why? For we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. The moment you get in mind, you don't want to hear what the Bible said, you got the same attitude. That's right. Even if you don't verbally say it. Yeah. 
The Amen. moment the word of God Amen. is telling you to do something, you push it off and reject it. That's right. The moment God tell you how a thing should be done. Yes. And you say, I know, but uh -uh, you got the same mentality. That's right. The moment you want your way to be exalted above the divine, infallible, perfect intelligence of God. Yes. You got the same mindset. Therefore, they say unto God, depart from us. What? Depart from us. For we desire. Imagine mm -hmm. saying that to the Lord. To the Lord. 